Hello back. Okay, so open your Unreal Engine. Then go into New Project and select Blueprints, because all my games will be created only by with help Blueprints. After that, going down and create new folder. For example, I will do a... I'm going for my disk D and create a new folder which will be Unreal Engine 4 Tutorial Game, something like that. Then going to back to Unreal Engine and here Disk D Unreal Engine 4 Tutorial Game. Select. Then give name for your project. For example, it will be Tutorial Game, something like that. Ok, what settings we will use? First of all, no any press setup. You can check other tutorials in YouTube to see what is mean any setup. You can create a third person shooter or something else. Doesn't matter, we are create empty blank. After that, go in here and select no started contact. For this reason, your package size will be very small after completion of your game. Because if you are create some started contact, you will have many additional options, plugins, uh, particles effect, uh, materials which you really don't need in our game. Ok, no started contact, quality, scalable 3D or 2D, uh, uh, if you are create for laptop or for PC, you can create a maximum quality. We are create a 2D games, so we are going scalable, something like that. And for a moment we are created for desktop and console. Here you can see a choice for mobile, but we are use only for desktop for a moment. After that we will do con uh, convertition. When everything done, push create a project. Wait a little bit. Coming. Creating. Yeah, I use version 4.21.1. If you have version before, anyway, you can find some additional options. Okay, very good. We are now in Unreal Engine. What options we will do for a moment? Uh, new plugin. So, we are dismissed. We no need for a moment any plugins. Okay. Uh, first of all, select this small button. You will get like this uh, area, additional area. And inside in the contact, you can create a many, many different uh, folders. I will show you now what, what is going on. So, uh, my tutorials is not for beginners. Uh, if you don't know some panels or something else, uh, try to check other beginners tutorials for uh, Unreal Engine. Uh, in my video, in my tutorials, I will just go and step by step what I am doing without any additional explanation. Okay, first of all, we are going for settings, for settings of our project. Just open that and check what we have. So, here we have 1 million of different settings and step by step you can check. So, as you can see, we can give a project name, some, I don't know, some icon, add some icon, something else. So, we are going down one by one and, for example, here, yep, you see, just a moment, I am open. Ok, game base, doesn't matter, some levels. So, we are going for our content folder, going for add new and create new folder. So, name of this folder will be level, something like that. You see, now in my contact folder we have folder level. Uh, for more easy way you can set a color, for example, uh, level will be yellow color, doesn't matter. Ok, so what we will do now? We are uh, in this window, make right click and then create a level, something like that. So it will be game level, something like that. Level, yeah, something like that. Sorry for, for my English, yeah, very good. So just double click, save, and as you can see, it is completely empty. So now we will add everything in that level. Going back to my settings, it's somewhere here. Yeah. And here, editor startup map, we are select our level. And game default map, for a moment we are select our level. So this is first setting. For what we are doing, uh, anytime when we are going inside in our project, we will get this level. If I'm going for, for example, for play, I play with new edition window, 
I see this level. So it is already game, but it is absolutely empty. So I hope you understood what is going on. Uh, then we are create inside in content browser new folder. Ah, yeah, for a moment, just going back to my settings. Yes, we will check. Moving we uh, movie we no need for a moment. Packaging. Okay, later I will explain you what is going on. Supported platforms. We need supported platforms for a moment only for Android, just for like a for easy way. But later you can use for iOS or for Windows or for doesn't matter or use I can, can create game for all platforms. So your way for create the studio games will be almost same for everything. Uh, in present moment, I use like this just to receive more faster. Uh, gaming result, yeah. So my packaging will be more faster if I create only for one platform. So here nothing, nothing. Access to scan doesn't matter. So we are going down, going to input. So inside in input we have some different options. For a moment I will create a game only with jump. So I am going for action mapping and push this button, add. As you can see, I receive like this angel, open, and give name. For example, it will be my jump, something like that. Open that, and here you can add some button. So my jump will be on keyboard, on spice bar, and, and I make a plus, and it will be like a touch. So I am going for touch if I create for touch screen and it will be one touch of my screen. So anytime when I push on my keyboard during a gaming spice bar or just touch on the screen, I will have my jump option. So I hope you understood. Uh, then for mobile game, we no need any finger control and we can clear it. We no need it for a moment because we are don't use any finger control. For console, uh, we are also delete everything. We no need console. Mouse properties, mm, yeah, for a moment I will keep like this. For a moment will be like this. So, what else? We are going down and going for a rendering folder. Okay, inside in the rendering folder, uh, you will get maximum number of S, uh, CSM stable to render. So, it is like a dynamic light. Uh, doesn't matter which version you can use, it can, uh, it can be different names, but it's everything about dynamic light. So just reduce to the minimum. I don't know what is your minimum. I put, I put uh, one. And as you can see, um, now it is coming to restart. Okay, I will do restart. Restart now. I have to wait a little bit. Yeah, you can see I have this folder. Before it was empty folder, but now inside I have tutorial game. And inside I have some different options. So now we will go in back. And for a moment, for a moment, I am complete with this. Later, step by step, we will come back for some additional settings. For a moment, we will do like this. Okay, as you can see, after restarting, I have game level, empty screen, and nothing else. So preparation done. Now we are doing import of our texture. So how to do it? Select content, going to add new and create new folder. Name of this folder will be texture. If you like, you can add some te uh, color. Usually I'm doing it because like this is, is for me more, more interesting and more randomized. Okay, we are going to our textures which we are created, as you remember, yes? Uh, it is our folder, but I use my, my from beginning. So select everything, right click, and copy. You can do like this. After that, you are going for D, tutorial games, tutorials, going for content, and inside content, you can see two, two options, which is collection and which is developers. This is created automatically, but we are create already level and texture. If you are open level, you will get our level. If you open texture, you will get nothing. So you are push right click and insert or paste and all our texture which we are created we have inside so what we will do now open back our project and downstairs you will have information 105 changes of source inserted do you like to import or don't import 
uh, import and wait. So now coming some project, now coming some importing of our texture. So we are wait a little bit. Almost done. So, and now we can use these textures. As you can see, it is already inside. So, but before continues, you have to open some texture and check parameters of this texture. So, first of all, I don't know how it's exported in Europe. First of all, all texture should be with compression settings default DX11. This is top one. If you are create any games for Android or for mobile device, you have used only this or this. If you use other one, you can get uh, some stuck. It will be so not so good. So use default, something like that. After that, you are going down and texture group. You have two choice. If you are using a pixel graphic, uh, like a small square, yes, you will use a 2D pixels like that. You see, it is it is little bit changed, little bit changed and not so smooth. If you are use uh, textures like me and follow only my tutorials, you can use a world. You see, it's more smooth and looks like more uh, more cartoon. Yes, like a, in more cartoon animation. Okay, so save and close again. Compressing and texture group should be only like this. All other for a moment we are don't touch. Yeah, if you not satisfied with this one, you can increase uh, I don't know brightness, some curve, some some additional options. You have some color correction here, and for a moment we are don't touch nothing. Okay, so for example I open this one. As you can see I have some yellow color and I don't know why. So open and check. As you remember, my background was without yellow color, but here I have because compressing settings jumping to normal map. So I'm going back and I change for default. And as you can see, now is good, but my texture group also world normal map. So I change for world. Uh, after that, just randomize click few of them. Okay, default world, very good and everything done. <laughs> Okay, sorry. What we will do now, we will create some sprites from them. Because this is texture, this is like a picture. But for our uh, Unreal Engine, we have to use some, some kind of 2D object. And this 2D object in Unreal Engine have a name sprites. Alright, I mean not only in Unreal Engine, almost everywhere is sprites. So I create, I take my bool and select everything like that. Yeah. After that, I'm going for right click, going to sprite options, and I use extract sprites. Like this, not create, extract. Uh, what is the difference? So, I try to show you a difference. For example, I take, um, I don't know, okay, I take this bash, big bash, and create a sprite, like this. And after that, I take this bash and make a extract sprite okay what i have what's the difference so if i open for example this sprite which i create i will get like this picture and my sprite size will get uh yes you see source dimension yes same like my texture so sprite like this and if i put somewhere i have a big picture but small object inside but if i open this which i extract I have automatical dimension, which is will be exactly around my picture. I don't have any additional, I don't know, any additional empty information. So in this reason, in this reason, very important uh, to extract. There it. Of course, if you are, don't use a pixel animation. Okay, we are going to sprite, extract. Now we have to wait. Depend from powerful of your computer, you will get a different speed. Def depends of how many items you will get. But after completion, so we have wait a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you see what is going on. Very nice. So after completion, we are just going to extract. Just push this button.
yeah something like that uh, you have to push uh, how much 105 times something like that is it is in my situation yeah of course if you have less pictures maybe you don't create some something together with my tutorial you will get small small pictures okay if you are just jump to my tutorials and didn't check my previous tutorial you can go to my channel and check how we are create all these pictures inside in cinema 4d uh, you can follow these tutorials and i don't know for example use other 3d uh, program like uh, maya or 3ds max or blender or something else to create some of these objects so uh, this is my first tutorial in unreal engine i am not professional in unreal engine maybe somewhere i have some mistakes or some i don't know some errors for this reason i kindly ask you to send me some comments some advice it will be very 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 good for me and many thanks for your feedbacks okay so now we have many many different files as you can see many different files what we will do now we are going for content and create new folder and name of this folder will be sprite something like that i don't know i also changed some color maybe for something like a green okay we are going to texture and now i have to take all sprites and copy and move to the sprite folder so but how to create it as you can see here we have some filter button just select it and you have some filter so we are going for paper 2d and we are taking sprites sorry Sp sprite something like that and now only sprites created so i just select everything something like that drag and drop inside sprite folder and unreal engine asked me copy or move of course move and as you can see now my texture folder will be just a moment we have to wait a little bit yeah almost finished yeah uh, my texture folder is empty because my sprite filter still working just deselect and you can see everything so now we no need any more the sprite just uh, remove sprite filter something like that going to sprite and here maybe i just take something like that here i have some empty sprites sometimes it can be uh, if uh, export going not so good so i just select all empty sprites and delete it just wait a little bit so this is just preparation uh, in some other tutorials it, uh, my work will be a little bit faster now we are prepare everything and in next tutorial we will start work with our character okay okay so i select i think everything just delete it wait a little bit yes delete of course okay and check now inside my folder 105 items i'm going for texture i have 105 textures but it is a problem because 105 textures together with my background it means inside in the sprite folder i have yeah i have this you see should be one less 104 so now everything done uh, okay my preparation completed this tutorial completed uh, see you in next one thank you very much for watching uh, go for my next tutorials and of course don't forget to subscribe goodbye friends